Hey everyone, this is Tess and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to review the instant brand Milk Frother. So I'm going to share everything you need to know about this Milk Frother. So guys, let's get started. Here's the box. So it's a pretty small box and I already did the unboxing and here is the milk frother. It also comes with a manual. So this is both in English and French. Here is the instant milk frother. So I'm going to show you guys all the parts. So here is the lid and this is called the pitcher with the handle and inside the pitcher that's the removable frothing paddle. So we can just pull it off. It comes off pretty easily. So this looks like a small whisk. Inside the pitcher it has the fill line indicators, max line for warming and max and minimum line for the warm foams. First line from the bottom that's for the minimum line indicator for the form that's quarter cup. The second line is the max line for the form that's half cup and the third line is the max line for warming so that will be one and quarter cups. We have to keep the pitcher on the base so here is the base with the power code. Bottom of the pitcher has the electrical components so we have to place the pitcher on the base like so. This has a simple two button control panel, function button and start cancel button. So when we click on the function button, we can toggle between the programs to create different types of forms. The cold icon is for creating cold forms perfect for our iced coffees and teas. If you click on the function again, it will go to the light warm form setting for our lattes. And the third one is for creating thick warm form perfect for topping our cappuccinos. And the fourth one is the warming function. Warming function will warm up the milk without creating the foam so it's perfect for making hot chocolate and instant coffee. Inside the pitcher it has a non-stick coating and it's BPA, PFOA, PTFE free. Here is the frothing paddle. We can actually remove the whisk from the paddle. It's tight so apply some pressure and pull it off. So while using the warming function we don't have to keep the whisk. We just have to keep the paddle like so. So the warming function will not create the foam. However I always keep the whisk as well. I find it will create a light foam if we keep the whisk also. So it's great for making hot chocolate and instant coffee. So I'll show it to you guys in a bit. I'm going to keep the whisk back on the paddle. There are grooves on the sides. So align the whisk and press it down. So let's keep this back into the picture. So that's it. We have covered all the different parts of this milk frother. So it's a very simple milk frother. This milk frother is pretty lightweight and very compact. So it has four functions and two button control panel. So in this section, I'm going to show you guys how to make different kinds of foam using this simple instant milk frother. First, I'm going to show you guys how the warming function works. So I've placed the frothing paddle and pouring some milk into the pitcher. I'm going to fill till the max line for the foam. So that will be like half cup milk. If you want to warm up more milk, you can add till the max line for the warming function. That will be one and quarter cups milk. If you want, you can close the pitcher with the lid. So since this is warming, it's good to close with the lid. Next, let's click on the function button. Keep clicking till the warm icon has highlighted and click start. So it has started to warm up. So it's stirring right now. So I have placed the whisk as well. So it will create a very light form. It is very quiet. So listen to the sound. Since this is warming, I'm going to close the pitcher with the lid. So I measured the time. So it took 1 minute and 12 seconds for the milk to heat up. So this is done. So let's open the lid. So here is the warmed up milk. Here is the temperature of the warmed up milk. It's close to 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius. As you can see, there's a little bit of foam since we have kept the whisk. 
To this warmed up milk, you can add hot chocolate or instant coffee or you can even make flavored milk. You can add chocolate syrup or vanilla syrup or just sip the warm milk. Next, let's make the light form. So let's click on the function button. Keep clicking till the light form icon has highlighted and click start. The light form setting, it will also warm up the milk. Then while creating the light form, it's uh, pretty quiet. It'll take almost two minutes to create the light form. And we can also cancel this function anytime we want. Maybe after a minute, we can cancel it. So I just click the cancel button and it stopped immediately. How the light form looks like. So I'm going to measure the temperature. So I'm going to dip a thermometer into the milk and it's coming to almost 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius. I'm brewing espresso in my instant coffee maker. So I've used caramel creme brulee Nespresso capsules. So here's the espresso and let's pour the light foam over this. So the light foam is perfect for making lattes. So there will be some milk at the bottom. So let's first pour the milk and then top it with the light foam. Look at that beautiful form. So I would say even the light form is pretty thick. So here's our perfect homemade latte. Next, let's make the thick form. So since we are using it right away, we don't have to clean up the pitcher. I'm gonna use the same pitcher and add the milk till the max line for the form. Click on the function button and keep clicking till the thick form icon. So that's the third one has highlighted and click start. It will take almost two minutes to create the thick form. Using the thick form, we can make perfect cappuccino. So here's my espresso. So let's pour the thick form. So at the bottom of the pitcher, there will be some milk. So that will be poured first. And then let's top this with the thick form. So here we have the latte with the light warm form and here's the cappuccino with the thick warm form. Look at the beautiful texture of the form and it's super thick. Next let's do the cold form. So I have cleaned up the pitcher and let's pour milk till the max line for the form. Click on the function button and keep clicking till the cold form icon has highlighted and click start. The cold form function, it will not warm up the milk, so the form will remain cold. Here's the cold form, so it's super thick, so we can top our iced or cold coffee, iced tea or iced latte with this cold form. So here's my cold coffee, so I skipped adding ice. You can also add some ice to this and let's pour the cold form. Here are the three kinds of form we just made the light warm form, thick warm form and here is the cold form. You can also make instant coffee in this milk frother. So I'm using Nescafe gold espresso powder. This is my favorite. You can use any kind of instant coffee powder. So we have to first add the powder directly to the pitcher. I've added half tablespoon. After that, let's pour the milk till the max line for the warming function. This is one and quarter cups milk. Before starting the warming function, I'm going to gently mix the espresso powder and the milk. So ideally, I should be using a silicone spoon. So stainless steel spoon can scratch the coating. So I'm being very careful not to touch the coating. Or you can mix it in a mug and pour it into the pitcher. Click on the function button and let's select the warming setting and click start. So we are just going to warm up the instant coffee. Since we have placed the whisk, it will create a beautiful light form. 
This will be done in just a minute. So here is our warmed up instant coffee. Let's also create a light form for our instant coffee. So I clicked on the light form setting, click start. I'm only letting it run for a minute. So to create the light form, it will take two minutes. So after a minute, I'm going to click cancel. Let's pour our instant coffee with the beautiful form to a mug. Honestly, taste wise, I find instant coffee made this way tastes much, much better and delicious. On days, if I'm not having latte or cappuccino with the espresso shots, I have instant coffee and now I only make my instant coffee this way in the milk frother. You can also make the hot chocolate the same way. So first add the hot chocolate powder to the pitcher, add the milk and warm it up and you can also make a light foam. Next, I'm going to show it to you guys how to make the ever popular Dalgona or whipped coffee in the milk frother. So to the pitcher, adding two tablespoon cold water. Next, I'm going to add sugar. I'm adding one and a half tablespoon sugar. You can add up to two tablespoon. Adding one and a half tablespoon instant coffee. I'm adding instant espresso powder. You can add up to two tablespoon and that's it. Let's click on the function button and select the thick warm form setting and click start. I'm super excited to see how this turns out. So it's stirring really fast. It will take two minutes to create the thick foam. In just two minutes, we have the perfect and super thick whipped coffee. So we have to pour this over cold milk. So I'm going to pour cold milk to a mug and let's pour this beautiful whipped coffee over it. This is beyond perfect guys. So we can make Dalgona coffee effortlessly in the milk frother. Next, I'm gonna make hot chocolate and top it with thick warm foam. So I'm making the hot chocolate in my instant coffee maker. So I added the pod and let it make the hot chocolate. You can either make light warm foam or thick warm foam for your hot chocolate. So I'm making light warm foam. Here is the beautiful foam. So let's top this over the hot chocolate. For a beautiful presentation, I'm gonna sprinkle cocoa powder over the foam. This looks absolutely delicious. This milk frother is pretty cool. I'm totally in love with this. So it's all about creating that beautiful foam for our drinks. So we can make light warm foam for our lattes, thick foam for our cappuccinos and hot chocolate. And the cold foam, we can make it for our iced tea, iced coffee or iced lattes. I also love the warming function. So we can just warm up the milk or make instant coffee or hot chocolate. So we just have to add the instant coffee powder or the hot chocolate powder along with the milk and turn on the warming function. So I always keep the uh, frothing paddle so it will create a light foam even in the warming function. For making all kinds of foam, I have used 2% milk. You can also use 1% milk. However, the froth or the foam might be much lighter. And now if you use a whole milk or full fat milk, the foam will be much denser and thicker. You can also make the foam using non-dairy milk like oat milk, soya milk and almond milk. So you can use both cold foam and warm foam setting. However, if you're using coconut milk, you have to use the cold foam setting. So coconut milk will work only with the cold foam setting. So I'm going to show it to you guys how to create the foam using coconut milk. Let's create the foam using coconut milk. So I'm using canned coconut milk. So let's pour this till the max line for the foam setting. Click on the function button and select cold form setting and click start. So for coconut milk, we have to use the cold form setting. So coconut milk will only produce form in the cold form setting. 
Here's how the foam looks like for coconut milk. I would say it did not create a lot of foam and I've used thin coconut milk. If you use thick coconut milk, the foam might be much thicker and denser. So I'm pouring to a mug and here is the foam. Cleaning this milk frother is pretty easy. So we need to ensure after we make the foam or the froth, we need to clean the pitcher right away. So there will be some milk foam residue stuck to the bottom. And the inside of the pitcher is made of non-stick coating. So we can use a light sponge scrubber. Never use a wire scrubber, it will scratch the coating. Uh, make sure you don't immerse the pitcher in water. It has electrical components at the bottom. So you can pour the water inside the pitcher and the dish soap and gently clean the inside of the pitcher even the base never immerse the base in water it has the electrical component so the pitcher is not dishwasher safe so the lid lid is dishwasher safe so we can keep the lid on the upper rack in the dishwasher frothing paddle is also dishwasher friendly so what I do is I always hand wash the lid and the frothing paddle after cleaning the pitcher lid and the frothing paddle, dry it well with a towel. If we take good care of the milk frother, it will be with us for a very long time. Love the instant brands, so that's one of the reasons I got the instant milk frother. So I don't find anything negative about it. It's pretty awesome product. This has one year warranty. So this is available on Amazon and on instanthome.com. So that's their website. And you will also find this in major retail stores. The price of this milk frother ranges from $30 to $60. There are also other brands available like Nespresso Aerochino, Bottom Milk Frother, Cuisinart Milk Frother, Curac Milk Frother and DeLonghi Milk Frother. All these brands and milk frothers are equally good and I find the prices are in the similar range. So this is not a complicated appliance, it's a very compact, simple kitchen appliance. I've been using this instant milk frother every day. So I have either latte or cappuccino in the morning and in the afternoon I have chai tea latte or hot chocolate and now I enjoy it with the foam. So now we can make all the speciality drinks with that beautiful foam in the comfort of our home. The specialty coffee drinks that served in Starbucks and other coffee shops, they all have espresso shots and the beautiful foam. So now we can make all those drinks in our home. So we just have to make the espresso shots using our coffee maker. And now with the milk frother, we can make different kinds of foam. Here are some of the popular espresso drinks. So what's different is the amount of foam and steamed milk added. So if you look at cappuccino, it has more thick milk foam. Latte has more steamed milk and less foam. Macchiato, it does not have the foam. It has only espresso and steamed milk. Latte macchiato, even the order of adding everything is different. First steamed milk, espresso and the milk foam. Mocha has hot chocolate, espresso and steamed milk. You can also add foam to it. Flat white does not have the foam, it only has espresso and steamed milk. So the bottom line is we don't need an expensive, huge and complicated machine to make the milk froth. We only need a simple and basic milk frother and we can literally make all kinds of specialty coffee and espresso drinks. Lattes, cappuccinos, macchiatos, all those drinks that we enjoy in Starbucks and other coffee shops. That was my detailed review about instant milk frother and I love it. So if you're looking for a milk frother, I would highly recommend this. So I'll post the product link to buy it on Amazon and instanthome.com in the description below. Check that out. If you found this video to be helpful, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe. I'll be back with more product reviews. So I do have many instant pot reviews. I'll post all the links in the description below. Check that out. So until then, enjoy the instant milk frother. Take care everyone and bye.